Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to watch me suffer. I don't think I'm gonna suffer. I don't think this, this is not gonna be a suffering video. I'm actually at Huntsville State Park. Before we get into this Huntsville State Park video, just post a comment down there and say, howdy. Tell me if you've ever been to Huntsville State Park. Doing a Miss, Miss Trudy Thunder. She's getting the hydraulics sorted out tomorrow. So I have to be down here for a couple nights. And rather than going to my, my go-to, Kegel, and pitching a tent, I decided because there's lots of rain coming, cold rain coming, and I didn't want to be stuck in a tent. We've been down that path before. Yappy was like, well, just get a hotel room. Well, where's the fun in that? I'm going to do something that I have yet to do. So you can see I'm going to in a screen shelter site. This is this is site number 20. It is Sunday, uh, getting to, on toward the end of January. Site number, shelter number 20 is on this loop when there's no one here. Right next door, I have a, a cabin. That site's hard to get level in. There's another cabin. So those are the only two cabins with air conditioners let's talk about the site real quick side to side it's great it's an asphalt pad this is a handicap so it's got plenty of room for both vehicles which is why I, one of the reasons why it has 30 50 15 and water so it is it is set up for you to park your rv no swimming pools, no washing of vehicles, trailers, no water balloons. It did not say anything about not washing clothes. <laughs> that would have been a better sight. But there again, I'm only here for one night. So we have a concrete sidewalk that goes all the way around, eventually heading to the bathrooms over there. Wooden picnic table no shade structure no protection from the rain no way to cook food unless you squat down in the fire rain what it has going for it is the scenery inside let's go take a look inside what do we have in here can't lock it that's kind of problematic. Oh. There's a big hole. Fortunately, I'm not worried about bugs. We already have clamps. That's going to come in handy. I have brought plenty of tarps. The table does move. So that that is also good. So I'm going to transform this into accommodations be for one night tomorrow night tonight i get to sleep in tree i don't have any of my wheeled vehicles with me because i'm doing the whole shelter camping thing tomorrow actually tonight it's supposed to start raining and it's going to be a hundred percent chance of rain all day tomorrow and tomorrow night so today I'll be taking all the stuff out of the back of the truck and I'll be putting it up in here because it's also supposed to be cold, not not freezing. Not freezing cold, but cold. Electrical access. Okay, so that's for running power cords. Which will come in handy. Cause there is power in there but to be warm i got a big electric heater so let me let me start getting things set up and then we'll talk Two 
walls done. I don't think I'm gonna put up any more. Uh, I have I have a couple more tarps with me, but for now I think <clears throat> that'll keep most of the wind off of us. Got a infrared bulb to give us a little bit of heat, and I've got some electric heaters with me. That's pretty dang handy right there, having an inflatable rooftop tent inside the screen shelter. So I got a bed, a bed that I can stay warm in. So they don't sell firewood here. At least they're not selling it right now. But I was fortunate that I found enough wood, pieces of wood that were left behind the various different campsites. Number one reason I always have my little chainsaw with me. Chopped it all down into smaller pieces so it will fit in the smokeless can. Now I have a heat source outside. Inside. Pretty well done for the evening. Done with what we're doing. I have one more electric heater that'll be coming in from the RV of the infrared that should keep temps up inside the tent. Place to sit and watch, look at the computer, work on the computer should I so desire. And a place to cook. Refrigerator. All of these items can be found on Amazon. I guess I'll go burn wood. So they don't sell firewood here. At least they're not selling it right now. But I was fortunate that I found enough wood, pieces of wood that were left behind the various different campsites. Number one reason I always have my little chainsaw with me Chopped it all down into smaller pieces so it will fit in the smokeless can. Now I have a heat source outside. Inside. Pretty well done for the evening. Done with what we're doing. I have one more electric heater that will be coming in from the RV. Of the infrared that should keep temps up inside the tent place to sit and watch look at the computer work on the computer should i so desire and a place to cook refrigerator all of these items can be found on amazon i guess i'll go burn wood so they don't sell firewood here at least they're not selling it right now but I was fortunate that I found enough wood, pieces of that were left behind the various different campsites. Number one reason I always have my little chainsaw with me. Chopped it all down into smaller pieces so it will fit in the smokeless can. Now I have a heat source outside. Inside. Pretty well done for the evening. Done with what we're doing. I have one more electric heater that'll be coming in from the RV of the infrared that should keep temps up inside the tent. Place to sit and watch, look at the computer, work on the computer should I so desire. And a place to cook. Refrigerator. All of these items can be found on Amazon. I guess I'll go burn wood. You know, I'm in a Texas state park and I cannot help myself. <laughs> I got, I go exploring. 
and I find stuff. I find stuff that I haven't seen before. I've been here so many times. I got a lot of videos on Huntsville State Park. Haven't seen these. These are brand, for me, they're brand new. From Tenter, so I guess this is a, a private public partnership. I don't know how you would reserve them. I didn't see them. Of course, I wasn't looking for a, a tent when I was online. They actually have them locked up, so we're not gonna be able to go in, but I bet there's a bed in there. And what a front porch. The only downside is the highway noise. And it seems to be excessively loud. But you've got a, a, a kitchen, sort of. Although if there's any raccoons out here, I wouldn't be putting groceries in there. Well, here we are the next day and it is raining. It started raining last night about oh, 11 o'clock and it's been raining ever since. I was up at four o'clock Rolled out of here this morning, rolled out of here at before five, made it down to the dealership, got back out, took me about three hours round trip to do all that. And then I came in and crashed. <laughs> I was tired. Couldn't do anything, brain freeze, brain fog. So I pulled out the Mr. Heater, I really love this this radiant bottle here. It puts out enough heat for really one person. It does a great job. The tent, the whole setup with that is working out great. I can position the small heater. It'll keep that plenty warm. I ended up hanging one more tarp. The wind kind of picked up earlier and was chilly. home for the day. I've just been sitting here working on the computer. All right, I guess I'll go back to work. Yes, I'm actually trying to build a fire in the rain. It wasn't raining when I started. It had kind of slacked off. Oh, lens is foggy. There we go. I'm about I'm about to give up. I need a, a some kind of cap, a lid to put on there. Oh, I don't have to stand here. I started packing. Meanwhile, I I had a conversation with the dealership yesterday, and it was about two o'clock. He indicated they were having some issues with this new hydraulic pump. Uh, and call me, he said, call me before you leave to come down here. I said, all right, I'll call you before I start breaking camp. I started calling when I got up this morning and it kept rolling over to voicemail. So, well, I'll, I'll start the packing process because after all, I, I, they're just replacing the whole pump assembly. How hard can that be? Apparently, it's kind of hard because he can't get the, the technician cannot get the new pump module to build up pressure. You know, while I was waiting on them to get in touch, call me back, I started breaking down camp. So it's a bit of a disarray. All the tarps are down. Of course, the temperature's up in the upper 60s now, so I don't need the tarps. If you're gonna be camping in a screen shelter, when it's real humid, just know it'd be a good idea to have a, a patio. I should have pulled my patio rug out of the RV. And I, I, I actually had the thought, by the way, you know, it's just one night. It won't be that big a deal. Well, now it's two nights and I've got puddles of water. So I'm, I'm doing my best to dry it out with the infrared and the heaters. Hopefully we'll get a dry spot right there. Should have pulled that rug out. Well, this has turned into more of a, a lifestyle vlog than anything else. 
camp is almost completely packed away I actually didn't fold up completely fold up the tent because it's got to dry out so I just stuffed it in the back of the pickup I do have Trudy back Miss Trudy Thunder we still don't have a hydraulic leveling system seems that Lippert is finally admitting that they have a a batch of bad motors I don't know what all that entails but I do know that it's going to be at least four more weeks before uh, they have any available for us to put in so I'm going to have to do this all over once again <laughs> I think I'm going get, to get that shelter down there next time boy it has been raining I'm so glad I, I, I rented the shelter because it gave me a place. I, I, it's not a hundred percent dry, but and that's that's actually not rain that has blown in. That is condensation. That is the moisture in the air condensing on this concrete slab. Keep, it, keep that in mind if you're going to be camping in a screen shelter and it's going to be wet. I'm going to see about burning some wood in the rain. I, I was able to get a fire going last night after I put down the camera. Uh, maybe I'll do it again tonight. I don't know. We'll see what the evening brings. Rain's back. You just thought we were done. We just keep right on burning. It's hot enough in that can that it, as soon as the water goes in, it, 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 it evaporates. So the fire is able to keep burning. Now, if, if the rain gets heavy enough, it'll go out. A little over two weeks later, Dillo days come and gone. Man, that was great. And I'm back at Huntsville State Park. <laughs> Did I mention they put in a whole new hydraulic pump that didn't work and they said it might take four to six weeks to get the next one? It didn't take that long. So I left Dillo Days and headed to Houston and I'm back at Huntsville State Park and the sun is blue skies. No more gray and gloomy and supposed to be this way for the next two days anyway and I am in another screen shelter site number 28 and I'm liking it, it with one exception and, and we'll talk about that in a minute so it's s28 it is a 50 30 in water only the 30 amp breakers is shot so don't plan on plugging into 30 make sure you have a dog bone I selected this one uh, when I was down here two weeks ago I re recognized that that bad boy's long enough for me to hook up my truck so I don't have to mess around with it in the dark tomorrow morning when I'm getting up crack at dawn to drive into Houston so all I gotta do is unplug and drive away basically even better it's water side you gotta watch out for gators there's gators in this here pond this is raven lake and raven there's a lot of ravens in this park so that must be why they call it raven's lake <laughs> got a fork a cheapy fork so we have a place to burn some wood an outside picnic table <laughs> We're camping in style. Look at this. We have a lantern hook. Oh, I'm so relieved. And then we have the, the screen shelter. Now the one thing about this site that it was, wasn't was well thought out because the door is over here. 
and the RV's over there. So you gotta walk out the end and walk all the way around. Would, would it not have made more sense to put the door on the other end? Just saying, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have changed the construction at all. I mean, it's, it slipped that thing around. Somebody must have read the plan wrong or something. Anyway, we have a table in here and you can see I got my stuff all spread out of here. I just made myself right at home. We do have a fire extinguisher. That's a good thing. We have light. There's a power receptacle in here. And there's also a, a, an electric cord port if you need more power. More power. This is a convenient park for me. That's why I keep dragging you back here. It's truly amazing the difference a couple of hours make. Look at how beautiful that is. So serene. Went into Houston, came back out. Hope I don't have to do this <laughs> again anytime soon. I think we're done here. Huntsville State Park. I uh, already drank my coffee early this morning. Wasn't sure if I was going to be here another night or not. I've decided not. Haven't heard anything on the earth, on the coach. I'm not sure if they got Trudy's legs back under her or not. Either way, I'm going to move on down the road. Not sure where I'm going. Just kind of blowing in the wind. If you've never been to Huntsville State Park, you should come pay a visit. It's a very nice place. Especially when there's no rain. <laughs> it's much better the second time around. If you enjoyed this, give me a comment down there. Say howdy. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm thing. So do the comments, so do the thumbs up. Any help is most greatly appreciated. If you've been following along, Man, I sure appreciate it. I've, I've, I've found a new store for gear. So if you want to get into some Dude RV gear, I'll post a link right at, right at the top of the comment box down there. Uh, and if, the, if, if YouTube will allow me, I'll put one in the card up there. A whole new line of Dude RV stuff that came out of the conversations that we had at Dillo Day. So... Uh, I think we're on a roll and if you were at Dillo Days and you're on the Facebook group You know what I'm saying when we're on a roll All right, so I'm done here. I do appreciate you oh, for those of you who have been following along Thank you. I sure appreciate it. Make sure you get your dude RV gear down there and for my patrons I cannot express my gratitude enough Thank you You guys rock all right, y'all come back now, you hear?